Anyone, even a marketing intern, can use our intuitive user interface to leverage AI and use that to engage with their customers on a more predictive and personal basis. Hello, Hossein. How are you doing today? Good, you. Yeah, very well. Yeah, it's the second day of Innovate Europe 2019. Today is the day for your organization. Are you ready? We are always ready. <laughs> okay. uh, so can you tell us more about your demo? It's just seven minutes. So uh, what are you going to focus on? A lot of people talk about AI and machine learning. And one thing that they usually miss is that they don't know what type of machine learning they want to use to solve what type of a problem. So what we will be showing today is that anyone, even a marketing intern, can use our intuitive user interface to leverage AI and use that to engage with their customers on a more predictive and personal basis. So we're talking like a, a very good UI and simple UI to help anyone virtually make good use of AI and data? That's a product foundation of Flybits, that we, we hide the complexity of data science, machine learning, and AI under an intuitive user interface so people can focus more on use cases rather than worrying about IT and data science complexities. Seems like a sound approach, yeah. When you say AI, so which type of data can they mine and make use of? So one of the unique things about Flybits is that we really don't care about the source of data. The data can come from a mainframe, can come from a sensor on your phone, can come from a CRM system. Our microservice-based architecture allows us to abstract that and then give user this Lego-like user interface that they can connect these data sets together and create a contextual logic around their customer base. It's pretty versatile, yes. So uh, talking about uh, implementation, uh, how easy is it to use your, uh, your system, your UI, for a big bank, for instance? Uh, we are working with some of the largest banks in the world and what we have seen is that we have empowered their marketing units and their digital channel groups to build use cases within months rather than waiting for years of integration to just come up with one use case in the market. So not even we have demonstrated qualitative value to our customers, there are also a lot of quantitative data in terms of how they grow sales, how they increase their revenue, how they manage their lending and mortgages and card services. So it has been a very interesting journey for us so far. You already answered my next question. I was thinking about KPIs and real impact on the business. We've got demonstrable, uh, demonstrable KPIs and uh, very good. We're at Finnovate, so uh, in Europe in 2019. What made you believe that Finnovate was the great place to be and well worth spending the money and the time? We have been participating uh, at Finnovate for the past four years. It's a fantastic venue. This is our first time participating at Finnovate Europe. Our European team is growing significantly out of London and this is a perfect launching pad for us to demonstrate some of our capabilities. So today, if you innovate, you can meet so many different people, like potential clients, existing customers or investors. Are you especially interested in one type of delegate? We are working mostly with the largest financial institutions in the world, and there are lots of great banks, financial institutions, and insurance companies attending. So those are our target audience. The company is well-funded, so not too much on the VC side. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, the last question for the interview. What are the key challenges for growth and for Flybits in 2019? The key thing about innovation these days is that you have to think global. So one thing that we are doing is that we are deploying our teams across uh, the world, especially in North America and Europe, and really ensuring that the teams can work in tandem together and scaling is one of the things that we are learning as we are scaling the company. Growing the team, yeah. And by the way, just uh, FYI, we're neighbors because we're also based at Rice London. So hopefully we'll see you there when you visit your teams next year. Thank you very much for your time, Hossein. Yeah, take care. Thank you.